Imagine being unable to work due to a debilitating condition, your savings dwindling, and bills piling up. Now picture a lifeline, social security disability benefits. But there's a catch navigating the complex application process can feel like solving a Rubik's Cube blindfolded. With millions receiving benefits and hundreds of thousands having their claims terminated each year, the stakes are high. How can you improve your odds of securing the support you desperately need? This comprehensive guide unveils insider tips and strategies to help you navigate the labyrinth of disability claims and emerge victorious. Welcome to Wealth Boss, your trusted source for the latest updates on Social Security and for the stimulus checks tailored for American seniors, including SSISDI and VIA recipients. I hope you are all doing well. Let's get right into it. The Social Security Administration, SSA, provided disability benefits to 10.2 million individuals, with 88% of recipients being disabled workers. During that same year, the SSA terminated benefits for 820,372 workers. These statistics highlight both the scale of the disability benefits program and the ongoing scrutiny applied to beneficiaries. The process of applying for disability benefits can be more challenging than many anticipate. The SSA sets a high bar for proof of disability and thoroughly investigates each claim. This guide aims to provide you with essential information and strategies to improve your chances of approval when applying for disability benefits. Before delving into the application process, it's crucial to understand the two main disability programs administered by the SSA. Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI, this program is for individuals who have worked and paid Social Security taxes for a sufficient period. The amount of benefits is based on your earnings history. Supplemental Security Income, SSI, this program is needs-based and designed for individuals with limited income and resources, regardless of work history. Both programs use the same medical criteria to determine disability, but they have different eligibility requirements regarding work history and financial resources. The cornerstone of a successful disability claim is thorough, well-organized documentation. The SSA requires substantial medical evidence to prove both the existence and severity of your disability. Ensure these records span the entire duration of your disability, showing its progression and impact on your life. Medical source statements, the SSA places significant weight on statements from your treating physicians. Timing is crucial when applying for disability benefits. You must be unemployed or earning less than the substantial gainful activity. SGA level for at least one year before applying. As of 2024, the SGA limit is $1,470 per month for non-blind individuals and $2,460 for blind individuals. Once you meet the work and earnings criteria, apply as soon as possible. Here's why. The initial review process typically takes three, five months. If approved, your benefits can be backdated to the date of your application. Delays in applying mean potential loss benefits. When filling out your application, be meticulous and thorough. Incomplete or inaccurate information can lead to delays or denials. Provide detailed descriptions of your medical conditions and how they affect your ability to work. Include all relevant medical conditions, even if some seem minor. Multiple conditions can have a cumulative effect on your ability to work. Be honest about your limitations. Don't exaggerate, but don't downplay your difficulties either. If you need help, consider asking a family member, friend, or social worker to assist you. You can apply online, by phone, or in person at your local Social Security office. Online applications are often processed faster. The SSA uses a five-step sequential evaluation process to determine if you qualify for disability benefits. Step 1. Are you working? If you're earning above the SGA level, you'll be denied regardless of your medical condition. Step 2. Is your condition severe? Your condition must significantly limit your ability to perform basic work activities for at least 12 months. Step 3. Does your condition meet or equal a listing? The SSA maintains a list of impairments, often called the Blue Book, detailing conditions that automatically qualify as disabling. 
If your condition matches or is equivalent to a listed impairment, you're approved. Step 4. Can you do your past work? If your condition doesn't meet a listing, the SSA determines if you can perform any of your past jobs from the last 15 years. Step 5. Can you do any other type of work? If you can't do your past work, the SSA considers whether you can adjust to other work, considering your age, education, past work experience, and any transferable skills. Understanding this process can help you present your case more effectively. Focus on demonstrating how your condition prevents you from working at each step of the evaluation. Consider legal representation. If your initial application is denied, which is common, or if you have a complex case, consider hiring a disability attorney or advocate. Here's why. Expertise. They understand the SSA's requirements and can help present your case effectively. Higher approval rates. Statistically, claimants with legal representation are more likely to be approved, especially at the hearing level. No upfront costs. Disability attorneys work on a contingency basis. They only get paid if you win, and their fee is limited to 25% of your back pay, up to a maximum of $7,200. Even if you don't hire a lawyer initially, consider doing so if your case goes to a hearing. The hearing stage is often the best opportunity to win your case, and having experienced representation can significantly improve your chances. If your initial application is denied, don't give up. Many claims are approved on appeal. The appeal process has several levels. Reconsideration. Submit any new evidence at this stage. Applying for Social Security disability benefits can be a complex and challenging process, but it's a vital lifeline for many Americans unable to work due to disability. By gathering comprehensive documentation, completing your application thoroughly, continuing necessary medical treatment, understanding the evaluation process, and being prepared for potential appeals, you can significantly improve your chances of approval. Remember, persistence is key. Many deserving applicants are initially denied but succeed on appeal. If you believe you qualify for benefits, don't let initial setbacks discourage you. With thorough preparation and, if necessary, professional help, you can navigate the system and secure the benefits you need and deserve. The Social Security Disability System, while imperfect, provides crucial support for millions of Americans. By understanding the process and advocating effectively for yourself, you can work towards obtaining the financial assistance you need to manage your disability and maintain your quality of life. That's the end of today's video. I will see you guys in the next video. If you liked the video, please make sure to subscribe the channel for more upcoming videos.